Hey guys, I've got eight mics here I'm going to test out. Let me tell you what they are. Over here on the left we've got the MXL 990. It's an entry level condenser, $100 mic. Very common. Uh, I bought it at Guitar Center, it was my first mic. I've got another MXL here. It's kind of a beat up uh, 1006. Uh, U87 style mic. I'm sure it's not anything close to U87. Uh, here I've got the SM86. It's actually a live condenser microphone. And uh, oh yeah, this is another hundred dollar mic. These are 150 new, I think. Uh, the reason I'm testing this one out is actually because mm -hmm. I was interning at a big studio after college and we were testing out a bunch of mics for this singer-songwriter we had uh, you know all the fanciest mics lined up U87, U67, U47 U48 which was the best sounding mic and the singer brought this mic with him just to test it out against everything else and it sounded right on par with the U48. It was amazing. Uh, way better than any of the other mics for his baritone voice. Which is what I'm going to be testing out all these mics with. My baritone voice. Alright, next mic here. Uh, Chameleon Labs TS2. It's no longer made, but it's a super large diaphragm tube condenser mic. Uh, cool mic. Anyways, oh yeah. It's uh, it's a little more expensive. This is more like a $500 mic new. Now you've got the SM7B, Sure SM7B, which is a uh, pretty famous mic used by a lot of people on famous recordings like Michael Jackson. Uh, it's a dynamic mic and it runs for about $350 new. Here we've got the Shure KSM32, which is another uh, slightly more expensive mic, uh, like $500 mic new. And this thing is raved about by a number of people, including, what's his name, I don't know, that, that one of these producer guys that's done a bunch of big bands like King Crimson and Steve Morse and Terry Bozio. He raves about this being his favorite mic. And, you know, performing better than a lot of Neumanns as well. Uh, these last two mics are both dynamic performance uh, stage mics. We've got the Audio Technica AE6100, which I recently got for my myself performing in my band because it's a little hotter and apparently a little clearer than the SM58. And here we have the SM58. I thought I'd throw it in there. A lot of people have used it for recording and actually like how it sounds for a really cheap mic. So, all right, let's give it a go. First mic, MXL 990. Reach up for the sunrise, put your hand into the big sky. You can touch the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. Second mic, uh, MXL 1006. Reach up for the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. You can touch the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. Sure, SM86. Reach up for the sunrise, put your hand into the big sky. You can touch the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. Chameleon Labs, TS2. Reach up for the sunrise, put your hand into the big sky. You can touch the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. SM7B Reach up for the sunrise, put your hand into the big sky. You can touch the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. KSM 32 
Reach up for the sunrise, put your hand into the big sky. You can touch the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. Audio Technica AE6100. Reach up for the sunrise, put your hand into the big sky. You can touch the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. SM58 Reach up for the sunrise, put your hand into the big sky. You can touch the sunrise, feel a new day, enter your life. So, to conclude this comparison, um, these mics all sound pretty decent. Um, I was a little surprised. It's always amazing, you know, how many variables can affect the, the sound you end up liking the most. You know, the, the quality of my voice, the type of preamp you're using, you know, a lot of these mics could sound better or different on a woman's voice versus my own <clears throat> you know um, what I found by comparing all the clips over and over again back to back with different mics in my recording session was um, well the 990 just was my least favorite it's slightly muffled sounding it's almost like a dynamic mic it's got less mid-range um, the MXL 1006 and TS2 are definitely the most present mid rangey pronounced mid range mics. They're great for uh, clarity, but you also get a little more sibilance pronounced in those. Um, the Sure mics, all three of them, the SM, the 7B, the 86, and the KSM32, they all are fairly similar as far as the mid-range goes. Um, the 86 has kind of a a high pass going on, probably because it's a a, a live mic. You know, it's not as uh, it's not as beefy in the low end, and um, I don't know the uh, 7B and the 32 are pretty closely matched and there's a significant price difference. You need a, a good preamp for the 7B because it's uh, dynamic and you need a lot of gain to get it loud enough so you need a quiet preamp. But um, I was gonna borrow, keep borrowing the 32 to record vocals because last time I used it I thought it was the best mic ever but now doing the shootout I'll probably just keep using my 7B and give the 32 back. Um, the two, the 58, you know, it's a little more muffled sounding, not as bright. Same with the, uh, the Audio Technica. It's actually more mid-rangey and it's almost like too like hyper-focused mid-rangey sounding to me. So yeah, um, they're all pretty good. I don't know. The 990 kind of sucks. But uh, I was surprised by that 1006, the other MXL. It probably does sound a little more like a U87, which is a little more sibilant and mid-rangey from what I've heard and seen in other studios. But yeah, you really have to choose the best mic for your voice or your application. Thanks for watching.